don't know what I was getting into when I asked the Jam team on Slack for productivity tool recommendations, but it turns out when you're building a tool like ours, people have a lot of opinions about different things to try. Shocker. I'm gonna go through our team's top picks with a focus on products that I hadn't heard before. These are all little tools, mostly for Mac, things that will save you time, and when you see them, it just makes sense. All right, let's do it. To start off, we've got a tool from Cyrus called Mackie. The main value here is if you copy something and then you copy something else, it remembers the first thing you copied so it doesn't get lost in the abyss of the internet. Instead, you hit Shift Command C and then you can access what you've copied recently. Next, we've got Carabiner Elements. So this is essentially a keyboard modifier so you can remap your keys to do custom functions. People use this for so many different things. I went down a YouTube spiral of all the different ways people remap their keyboards, but long story short, here from Cyrus, this is how he uses it. So um, one thing I realized is uh, over the course of programming, I have been putting a lot of uh, strain on, I guess, like this tendon in here or like a set of tendons in this area. Part of that comes from when you you angle your hand to to hit certain keys, you know, or like put all the weight on one section. So for me, um, I use the key bindings a lot to switch workspaces in Mac OS. So, you know, command up, command down, uh, or I guess, sorry, control up, control down. Uh, but for this, uh, I've actually rebound this to be a much more easily accessible key binding. So I used caps lock and then J, K, L, and I to shift through my workspaces in Mac OS. Okay, next up we've got intermission. This is a timer that reminds you periodically to look away from your screen. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the old days when you were on Wii and they gave you this like time to take a break thing. Like controversial, right? It's a good reminder for me to like take a break. I feel like engineers typically don't take breaks and we just like sit at the computer for long periods of time. But even if I don't take a break as often as I should, it's like a nice reminder that like, oh, I should still be doing this. So I think I, I take breaks more often than without it. Um, but I wouldn't say that I use it every time. Next up is Tilt. It's a developer tool. I jumped on a call with Oscar to explain how it works. Yeah, so we didn't use the Tilt before. And when you wanted to start the development environment, you have to you'd have to start a bunch of like commands which would you know do certain things and right now it's like automated you just run one command and then the tilt is like this big tilt file where, where we specify all these commands and they they run for us uh, so we don't have to care about them anymore. Next up, another developer tool called Z, which helps you change directories faster in the terminal. So it's like it's like easier navigation of the terminal, right? By exactly, the... exactly. It's like a shortcut for you to just, you know, you don't have to remember exact name of, of the folder. With Z, it kind of gathers all the folders which you like frequently visit and then you can just type Z and the name of the folder. Next up is a tool for me. It's a Mac app called Magnet. What this allows you to do is arrange windows on your screen with a keyboard shortcut. There was a day when I was dragging my windows all over the screen, but now I just hit control option left and then it puts the window, boom, right in the left half, control option right, right there, nice. Okay, intermission just gave me a pop-up right now to take a break right now. Do I do it? You win, intermission. You win. I want to share something that we're particularly excited about right now at Jam, which is our Building Jam podcast. Now, essentially what this is, is, we share what it's like every week, Building Jam. We're just sharing our challenges. We're sharing um, what we're thinking as we're building the startup. So if you're also building something, you may find it interesting. All right, that's enough of that. Time for the demo again. Okay, last one here, it's called Hidden Bar. What this allows you to do is hide the icons in the menu bar to give your Mac a cleaner look. It's the type of thing that once you install it and you see it, you can't like unsee it. Now it's really nice to be able to just click this toggle and then have all the icons go out, click the toggle, have them go back, and it's just, uh, it's, it's satisfying. I think you'll like it. So what did we miss? Please let us know down in the comments other tools that we should try. I hope this video helps your team move just a little bit faster, and I'll see you in the next one.